I was in the develop PHP forums and roaming around and I ran across a topic that caught my interest and the guy's title was uh, his name's Don a member of develop PHP he writes Google map in profile and that's what piqued my curiosity because I kinda knew what he was talking about and I was like hmm that's a very interesting idea let me investigate that so I wrote uh, well he wrote I would like to know how I would insert a Google map in a user profile that will show the user location based on their address from the MySQL database meaning that he wants a dynamically driven Google map so you can use the little snippet of code that you get from Google to embed a map into your page but all we have to do is do a little bit of PHP tweakage and we'll make it dynamically render all kind of different information for all thousands and millions of different people you have in your database one little map the same map and I will be putting it into Web Intersect because I happen to have a little member system there with a lot of people from different places all over the globe okay so here I am at my member based website and I want to get the map embedded right there at the bottom nice and big just for example sake you guys can make it any size you want and I'll show you how to adjust the size no problem but first thing you gotta do is go and get the code so you go to Google and then you go to maps and then you type in let's see since my site doesn't give direct address like to their home physical address I think it's very safe to use this on a site like mine but if yours uses a direct home address you might want to make sure that things are very very privatized and secure at your site using a direct physical address on a social network uh, that is wide open you know maybe things profiles should be private at that point and things like that but I'm sure you guys thought of that already uh, so what we're gonna do is go to Google Maps and we'll see that he is in Clacton on C Essex Clacton on C Essex United Kingdom I think that's how you separate that but anyways I'm just gonna type that in to Google Maps I'm going to search that. And there's Clacton on C. And I guess that's Essex, United Kingdom. And so I'm going to go here. And you don't even have to worry about this location. You can do any location in the world to get this code at first. But then we'll make it dynamic. And I think you go to link here. And right here it says paste link in an email or paste HTML to embed in a website. That's what we want, that iframe. I'm going to grab that whole thing by pressing Control c when it all turns blue and highlights there. I press Control c now it's in my clipboard. Now I go to Dreamweaver in my member profiles here, and I know exactly where I want this thing to display under everything else. Maybe I'll put it right here under this. I can actually just add, a, very conveniently, add a row to this table. We'll do it in Design View. We'll make it two rows and then we'll merge these two rows by hitting merge selected cells or we'll merge those two cells sorry and then right there where the blinker is cursor uh, the cursor is blinking we're gonna go to code view and in that table cell that's where we're gonna put this code then we're gonna use PHP to tweak it out put the member profile location data into this location instead of right here Instead of Clacton on C, Essex United Kingdom, blah, 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 we're going to make a little string of variable data that we're going to lay right in there instead of that. The width we're going to make a lot wider on mine, and this is where you adjust your size. And regarding this little link, I'm not sure if you need that. I'm not sure if Google requires you use that, but it's a link to view larger map, so you, wanna, might, you might want to use it anyway and make both strings dynamic. But I think you can just get rid of that. Let's comment that out. All we need is this big one, the iframe. We don't really need the link unless Google requires it. And I'm not sure, you might want to look into that. That's something I'll look into, but you might want to look into it on your own. Maybe somebody can answer it in the comment section below here, whether or not Google requires that you use that little small link that's wrapped in the small tag after the iframe. Is that required? I don't know. That's that's to be a good question, though because I'm sure some people would rather do without that link I don't think I want to put it in but if I have to I will now within your while loop you're gonna have all the information for that member pouring out of your database each field from the database so we're gonna grab the city 
state, and country in mind. And like I said, if you happen to have a more direct physical address like 55-55, 55th Street, some city, some town, whatever, uh, then you can lay that in there and get a direct location to their address very precisely using this method. But like I said, you might want to have things privatized at that point. So we got what we need. Let's go back down to where we're outputting this frame. And now let's make it a little dynamic. I'll just assemble the string and show you the finished product and explain it real quick. It's not going to take very long. I'll just show you my process. It might take a little longer, but you might get more out of it. So first I'll throw those out there because city, state, and country is what I want, and just the variable. Under that, I'm going to put a PHP block. You can go in Dreamweaver. If you're in Dreamweaver, you can go up here to the top, make it nice and easy, put in code block. If not, you just type that in. And then, we're going to put in, let's just put double quotes so it'll be easier to bind all of these guys together. City first. Then we're going to put state right next to it. And then country. And then we're going to take a gander down here at the code that produces the iframe for the map. And we're going to see it has little plus signs there. You see that? So all I'm going to do is put comma plus sign in between each one of those variables. Very simple. And since we're using double quotes there, we don't have to worry about any syntax faux pas using this. It'll put the users, if they have it in your database, it'll put their city, state, and string right there. Or city, state, and country string right there. So we're going to put that location string to output. Actually, we can just echo that. Make it easy on ourselves. Less code. Echo city, state, country. And we'll wrap that up. Wrap that up. And guess where we place that? We'll control X and place it right city, state, and country. Right there. Between that equal sign and that and amp. That ampersand and that equal sign. That's where you put it. Right there. Now the you might just want to leave out the uh because it looks like there's longitude and latitude there. Let's see what happens if I just leave that out. Make that equal nothing. And let's see if I can just remove that whole and amp for the whole longitude latitude thing. And Z equals 12. All right. I'm going to try this out. Well, looks like there's another place I need to get that right here. Q equals all the way to there. Boom. Same string. And SSL and AMP SS SLL. That's the longitude and latitude, I think, again. We'll remove that once again. And let's see what it gives us. Okay, I gave it the old FTP, and I'm going to now refresh the page on that profile.php page. And hopefully, down here at the bottom, it will show the location for this member, which is Clacton on C. Essex United Kingdom. Refresh. Booyah baby. And you remember I took out the longitude and latitude and it still works. Because if you put in that longitude and latitude it's going to be incorrect. So let's go to my profile and see what happens. It should show me here in the United States in Lake Toxaway, North Carolina because that's where I live. And there I am in Lake Toxaway, North Carolina. It's a beautiful thing. So there you have it. I hope that proves helpful to a lot of you guys. I think I'm going to use this actually and keep it in place at Web Intersect because I like it so much. And uh, Don from Develop PHP, I've got to thank you for a cool idea, buddy. It was a really cool idea to dynamically embed that into uh, a member site. And I'm going to put mine right here somewhere, I think. Really small. But just so people can access it and be a cool little gadget thing. Alrighty, we'll see you guys next lesson.